beautiful people. It is me, Zoe, and I am looking like a naked mole rat today. Excellent. Lately, I've been really thinking about my content and the kind of stuff that I'm putting online, and I've just been uninspired by regular boring makeup videos. I love a rainbow cut crease video as much as the next girl, but I'm getting bored. I'm getting tired. But imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are of it. I love makeup tutorials and I love beauty videos and DIYs and I never want to stop doing that but I just want to supplement it with some other interests of mine. One of those things that I really like doing is teaching myself languages. I took Spanish for like 10 years. I've been teaching myself French for a long time. I took Portuguese in college and I tried to learn Italian but I really wanted to learn a language with a different alphabet. So first I thought I really want to learn Arabic because Arabic is so pretty and it's so cool. Now I tried learning Arabic and I No, I started trying to learn Japanese. <laughs> no, no, no. I did not have the intelligence. I did not have the mind for Japanese. I just couldn't learn Arabic or Japanese and so next on the list was Korean. So, as I've been trying to learn the language, I've been really getting interested in the culture and the food and all that kind of stuff. I watched K-dramas for a really long time, but I've been trying to get into K-pop. And that takes us to this here video, baby. The entire K-pop industry is just really fascinating to me. And I've decided I have a future career as a K-pop idol. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little makeup look and then study a little Korean and try to learn Fancy by Twice. And then I'm going to try to learn the dance to Fancy by Twice. And so I can, you know, make a fool of myself for your entertainment. So to start out with this Korean beauty routine, I thought I should do a Korean face mask. I have smoothing milk, pomegranate, apricot, grape, strawberry, red ginseng, olive, acerola, and bee venom. I gotta do the bee venom one, right? I can't say that I have a bee venom mask and then not do the bee venom one. I really want to know who figured out that bee venom would be good for your face. Honey slaves to the white man! Let's hope I'm not allergic to bees. I've never been stung by a bee, so um, we'll find out right now if I'm allergic to bee venom. Whenever I do a face mask, I feel like Mr. Napkin Head from The Holiday. Oh my god, I'm Mr. Napkin Head. Okay, I'm gonna leave the bee venom on for 20 minutes and then I'll be right back. Look at me all fresh-faced and venomous. Let's rub all that venom in. Now I'm gonna go and add this aloe vera soothing gel. K-beauty seems to really be about skin, so I'm gonna focus all of this on creating the most dewy skin possible. And to have dewy skin, you have to have hydrated skin, so. Aloe vera is the tea. I'm gonna be trying out a new foundation. This is the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I also have the original formula of this, and I don't like it, so I don't know why I bought this one, but you know. Take a tiny bit on the back of my hand and go in with a brush that's not clean. Oh, that's too light. Excellent. Oh, it smells like paint. Oh, that's awful. Oh, I hate that. I hate that a lot. Like, the worst. Ugh! I'm also resisting the urge to put on as much foundation as I normally would because that wouldn't be very K-beauty of me. Okay, now I know it's counterintuitive to set this, but I... I can't have a stick. I, I just can't have a sticky face. I can't do it. I can't. I can't be dancing around with a sticky face. So I'm just gonna use very little. This is a mix of a lot of different powders. I couldn't tell you what's in this. Just a lot of, a lot of setting powders. So next we're gonna go in and fill in our brows. I'm gonna use the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. I'm gonna try to get a really straight brow if I can. I'm gonna use this lighter brown color. Try my best to really straighten out the bottom of my brows. Because a lot of K-beauty, they really like straight brows. Do you see there's like no arch to that? It's just very straight. That's what we're going for. Now I'm going to blend the front of them with that beauty blender just so they're not as harsh. Okay, now comes blush. I have these two very bright blushes from NYX. I'm kind of scared of them, so I'm going to go in with the lighter one first. This is the NYX High Def Blush in the shade Summer. Put that right on the apples of my cheeks not sparkly but glowy. Now onto the eyes. I'm gonna use this Pixi Heart Defensor Palette. I'm gonna use just this flat packer brush and start out with this orange shade. And unlike the way I would do normal eyeshadow, which is like 
in the crease. I'm going to start at the lash line and then blend upwards. Now I'm going to use this kind of cranberry-ish shade. Woo! Yeah! I'm going to put that just closer to the lash line. So you see how this is like halfway on the eye this is gonna go just right there and just under the lash line i'm just taking a clean blending brush and blending out of the edges now let's just do the same thing on the other side okay now i want something sparkly all over the lid so i'm gonna use this stila eyeshadow and kitten and just dab it on my finger dab 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 and tap it all over my lid Excellent. Now to give my eyes that really nice big doll effect, I'm gonna use Benefit High Beam on a tiny brush and just place that on my inner corner and under. I'm also gonna put that down the bridge of my nose and at the tip of my nose. You know, my cheeks a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and use a little bit more blush just cause I was afraid of it before. A little bit more blush. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen. I'm using a lot of Pixie in this video. Any black eyeliner will do. I'm in a tight line. So basically, I'm gonna lift my eyelid and shove eyeliner all up in there. Now I'm just putting on a tiny bit of eyeliner and then smudging it with my finger. And a little bit on the bottom as well. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Pixie Mirage Eye Glitter. I'm just gonna take that and put it right here, that little under part. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that red eyeshadow and pop it on top of the liner and still blend all of that out. I forgot to set my brows. I'm gonna use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This stuff is like cement. And then I'm gonna use that same NYX blush from before. Just tap on top of it. And a few last sprays of Glow Mist. And a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter to lock it in. Okay, this is cute. This is this is cute. However, we gotta go full K-pop idol. And what are K-pop idols known for? Crazy hair colors. I'll be right back. Period. Am I a K-pop star yet? I went from local to idol real quick. This is 100% cold. This is a fresh fit. Now that this K-pop idol look transformation is complete, let's go learn to dance. Oh God. Disclaimer, I'm not a dancer. Please don't come for me. I'm trying my best. I feel like the best way to go about this would be to watch one of the dance tutorials on YouTube. So I have my laptop here. Please do not mind my Cheetos in the corner. Those are not a part of the K-pop idol diet. I, you would never. Beginning of this, all I know is you gun and something, something. Da -da 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 Fancy. Don't forget to share this before you begin dancing. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. memorize any of that. Hold up. <laughs> New game plan. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that a lot of times. These sparkles are chafing my arms. I can't keep up. I don't know if I was fit for this K-pop star life because still all I know is that's me. <laughs> so I'm gonna change. I'll be right back. I look like Rosé from Blackpink. Actually, if Rosé is Chanel, I am the dollar store. You know I fancy you. watch it a lot of time but just marking it so I can remember the order of the steps. Why am I doing this? No one's forcing me to do this. I'm embarrassing myself and for what? No one knows the reason. Non-existent. And I just wanted the pizza. <laughs> the pizza's not even coming. Fancy! Ooh, I sweat my wig off. Okay, it's been like three hours. I took a long break. I ate a lot of chicken nuggets and I forgot about 90% of the choreography. Give me five, it's a vibe in the hood like drive, drive, drive. I think 
I'm ready to perform. I bet I look stupid. Um, yes, hello, this is Mission Control. I have confirmation that you did, in fact, look very stupid. <laughs> Hi guys, my makeup's all faded and gross looking because it's 3.30 and I should have finished filming this video at around 11 o'clock, but I didn't because I took a lot of breaks because I got tired because I don't exercise because I'm out of shape and I am so tired. That's it. I'm done. No more. Fancy. <laughs> Fancy you. All right, everybody. I think that's it for me. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like me, maybe subscribe. And if you have anything that you'd like to see me do or ways you'd like to see me embarrass myself, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!